Hello everyone. Today I am going to make a birthday t-shirt design. So I am going to use this text as the text of my design and I am going to use these colors to make it to give it something like a vintage look here. So the main focus of my this design will be making a center graphic inside this wings area so that that will be the focus point of my this design and the rest will follow so i am using these two text here january and sorry for that it should be 1970 or if someone is turning 50 years old in 90 in 2021 then it will be like 1971 so this is just this two is my focus text because this year and this month this is going to be my focus design here and of course you can simply change the month here like January, February, March, April like that and then you will get 12 design from one single design and it, this kind of designs really sells guys so for the design process here I am using this wings here you can find this one this is just a wings from kind PNG so I am going to use that one because this will be a part of my design so there will be no copyright now for this design here I want to make it a colorful design so first step is I am going to make my wings in color then I will change it so for the wings maybe I will just let's use something like this lighter color then control X control B so control X control B will put it in the background now if I select the, these two this rectangle and my wings like this I am pressing shift M for shape builder then press alt and click here it will erase the extra part and now this is the part of my design like this part so that's why that's how we can get a colorful design I am making them a group I am doing this in the first place because changing the color or making it a colorful design after the design is really kind of hard so that's why now I am going to take an ellipse here now this ellipse is going to be my focus text here focus point for my this design here let's make it black for now ok so I am selecting this group and my ellipse then ok that's in the middle point no problem now this is going to be my focus point here like the center graphic here but I want to place some text also so that's why I need to make a copy of my lips so ctrl c ctrl f that will give me a copy and that is pasted in front so that's why if i just make it something bigger like this i can use it then maybe ctrl c ctrl f again to make another ellipse here just like this now i'm just going to place my text here this legend i'm going to cut it ctrl x now i'm selecting this ellipse here then I am going to use my type on path tool then click on this anchor point press ctrl V to paste now this is in this font Myriad Pro I am going to use maybe this old athletics sorry old sport 0 to athletics this font now for this one here I am going to make it round like this then click on this center point it is going to be centralize just like this maybe a bit smaller and then a little space between my text so that is good now for this one here this scenes I'm going to use another bold looking font maybe Explorer serif that is a good font let's control X to cut now for this one here I'm going to select my this ellipse then again type on path tool click on this anchor point press ctrl V so this is going to look like this now I am going to change this one's position here make sure that it is aligning in the center then make it center like this I can simply make it smaller because this is not my focus text here anyway so this is looking like this right now but I want to make this my focus point here so for that I need to give it some a kind of extra 
cool looking effect so that's why i'm going to use a that ellipse brush we create two ellipse like this then press shift m for shape builder erase this two part now i'm going to use this one maybe like this then right click transform reflect then copy we have two shapes here we can use them but i'm just going to use this one here just like this sorry for that this one then maybe a bit smaller i can rotate like this now i need to make some adjustment like how big i want these shapes to be like maybe something smaller like this that is good now i'm going to keep a copy here just like that then i'm going to press ctrl d so if i keep pressing ctrl d it is just going to make some copies for me just like this that is okay that is too much maybe just this much will work for me now i am selecting them okay not this one not this one just these shapes then make it smaller something like that that much is good maybe yeah so the adjustment i'm making here if i make this curve like this i need to like i need to check that if it is not very bigger than the shapes or the elements here something like that so this much is good for me now i am going to click on this new brush icon then i am going to make a art brush not a pattern brush this time art brush okay so you can see i have a art brush right now if i just keep it something like this maybe i will need that i don't know so for this one here i am going to select my this ellipse now i don't want it to be covering the whole area here i just want to make two part from this area something like this so i need to break this ellipse here so i am going to use my add anchor point tool then click here and then maybe click here just like this that is good now pressing a for the direct selection tool now if i click here i can erase that part again click here to erase this part this one also so i have a shape like this now if i click on this icon here this brush icon this is going to give me that kind of shape here that is good now i'm going to drag a copy here pressing alt then go to transform reflect and then click ok so this is going to look something like this maybe just i will select these two aligning them center wise that is good maybe a bit smaller in size like them a group ctrl g ok so this is not in center position so i need to select everything here then i can easily place it in center point center position like this so maybe a bit bigger or a little bit bigger something like this so this is looking good now as we have some effect here it is not looking very good but let's break out this two brush like they were in a stroke now they are in fill when we expand it now go to object path and the offset path that is a bit bigger so let's make it 10 point click ok ctrl x to cut now i am going to select my this group this wings and the color group now open transparency for it like this then press ctrl f so it is going to look like this something like this and this is looking good make sure that everything is in black yes they are in black that is good now this part i want to hide so that's why i am taking my pencil tool here and then if i just draw a shape like this it will hide anything that was inside this area so it is making a center graphic area for me like that that is good now I am going to use my this font and of course in maybe this font style 1971 that is good. Now maybe like this. It should be in the center position. Okay so for this one here I am going to use this, this font. This since font here. That is good and I am going to keep it editable for now because I want to make it like with 12 month name something like that okay if that is not i'm not sure if they are in the center or not 
but I need to select my this wings group and then this group not that group this group this leaf effect something like that I need to make them a group because if I lose that position the effect will destroy so that's why now I can place them in the center position or not something like this that is good maybe I can select this to bring them a bit down like this little bit now I'm going to use this one here this all then this font maybe something like this area this is just a random idea of making a design like this I'm going to use a scripted font here because I want to make a source effect for my this original text so maybe like something explorer script yeah this one is good in this area like this then I want to just make a source area here so for making that source I need my pen tool and then I need to make sure that I have a stroke not fill so when I have a stroke I can click something like this then maybe just join it something like this that is good now I'm pressing shift W for white tool or maybe you can click here this is the white tool now if I make one part bigger like this just like this it is going to make it look like a source effect here so that is good but for this area I want to just match the wide of my end here something like this that is good then maybe a bit up like this or we can just make some adjustment here I don't want it to be like too close to my original text so I'm selecting this one again pressing shift W I can make it little bigger so something like this that is good now I'm going to expand it expand appearance now pressing shift E for eraser tool with eraser tool I just simply I'm erasing a part like this so that is looking like this now this is in font so I cannot apply any effect here so I need to drag it and once it is broken I need to select my this G this G of this original then go to object path and then offset path make sure that it is not too much big something like yeah that is good press ok then ctrl x to cut now I need to select my this source here then if I open transparency for it press ctrl f to paste in front so this is going to look like this a cutout effect for my original text now if I select my this two and then press shift m I can erase this extra part ok so before that I need to make sure that these two are separate parts ok that is basically working at, at one because we applied some effect here I am just taking this one ctrl x then if I press like double click here then if I press this click on this L here then press ctrl b it is going to paste it back now I can select this two then I can use my ok my shape builder is not working here because that is inside a group so if I just ungroup it like this that is good now I can select this two individual text then press shift M for shape builder now it is ok it is not working here maybe I need to select this two this one and this one then go to object expand now pressing shift M for shape builder ok so this is not working like that it should be something like okay guys so we can easily fix this problem maybe I can just select this wash and then inside the transparency I will find this offset part of the, of the G let's control X to cut it now click here I am selecting my source press ctrl F to paste in front that is in front now if I select this one also this source and the offset part of the G go to pathfinder then alt and minus front so this is going to make that same effect now I can expand it so once it is expanded it is basically cut out erased no effect inside it so if I select them like this maybe just this L and this source press shift M for shape builder 
it is going to work so I can just erase like that so that's all I wanted to create here now I am selecting this text here this group here because we I I ungrouped them now maybe this one also then press unite to make it a unite to make them unite that's good now I want to fix this problem from here like as you can see that font part is not there is some empty space here of the letter R and I wanted to join this with my O here now maybe I can select this part just like this so that is looking good now if I select this group and then next part unite to make it unite now that is good selecting that control X control F to paste in front now I can select all of it align it together in the center position maybe a bit bigger in size this original text now go to path offset path then turn on this preview maybe this time a bit bigger so 10 point then click ok control x now i am selecting this group and this leaf effect and wings they are grouped together now open the transparency press ctrl f to paste in front so this is how it is looking right now and i think that is looking good if i want to just hide this part here i am pressing n for my pencil tool and then i just want to hide this area i can draw a shape there so that is good now for this area here i am just going to do the same technique then of course as you can see this part is also visible i don't want it so something like this now this is making my text readable and clear that is good now for this one here i am going to use another text that is called part so this part i am going to make this make it that font so that is good okay when we are placing anything in the transparency we need to make them all together like this wings group and my original text i am going to make them group together so i will not lose its position now i am selecting all of it again align center wise that is good but sometimes it just doesn't look good by centerizing so that's why i'm making it a bit smaller that part is done now i want my this text only editable so i'm just i need to cut it ctrl x now everything here will be same for all designs so i'm going to object expand the appearance again selecting all of it expand and it will make everything a fill color so there is no text here there is no shape here there is no strokes here everything is just simple shapes so now if i press ctrl f my january text is going to place in the same place where it, it was before something like this then this all text this is overlapping here okay so just maybe something like this this is just up to you how you want to place it now for this area here i am going to give it a little bit more focus so i am going to create it a five star design okay that is five star so let's make it bigger like this then i'm going to selecting this one these two bring them a bit up then i am going to bring this one a little further up so that point is good now everything here is broken except my this text january text so i am going to like keep one here january then i am going to change the text here okay so when we are making changes we need to adjust the size here yeah that is good you can see how easily we get two different designs from one single design so for this one here i am going to use some of these colors maybe this one here this original text i am going to make it this darker yellow now 
this one I am going to use this red color this is another focus point I'm going to make it that color this January in this color so this is just up to you how you want to colorize your design maybe this will be this color okay we have that color here okay guys so that is my final design for this video if I take a rectangle like this I can make it black of course then control X control B so this is how it is going to look right now now we can change this color to any color we want like this color is not matching with my design so if I double click then I can click on this color something like this to select that color then if I make some changes here something like this color maybe a little lighter something like this so that much yeah that is looking good now I need to make some changes here like this text here I want to make it in this same color just like this so that's it guys this is the final design for me and this is how you can simply create a 12 month name design and that will be really easy to target pupils who are, who are going to turn 20, 50 years 40 years 30 years you can make a lots of different versions with this so i hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this one thank you guys for supporting me see you in the next video guys have a great time